direction. Uh, and also you see that the, the physics of the quad, the way the quad actually moves in the wind, is uh, very, very realistic. And this is the kind of stuff that you see on high-end console quality games. We are now able to do it on the Snapdragon uh, S4 you know, Pro here. And if I change to a different camera angle, you can see here that uh, the lighting and the shading that you see, when you look at these objects, we're actually using a per pixel form shading, which is a kind of techniques that you use in high-end consoles. We're able to run that uh, full performance on Snapdragon. And if I, uh, if I turn on this metric here, you can see we're running like 20, 27, 30 frames per second, uh, pretty much on that one as we move around. Now, what we've done when we've done this is uh, we actually here, shown that the, the, the demonstration is mapped to all the four cores. So you can see all the four cores are running now. That's core one, core two, core three, core four. Uh, we are able to control each of those cores independently, and you can see that we mapped uh, some of the physics, you know, based rendering onto one core, and, uh, and the different aspects of the, of the processor, of the, of the demo itself, on the different cores. Now, if you, uh, if you go to another part of the, of the scene, what you can then do is when you actually turn on the different cores, you're now able to see that the performance uh, of the whole scene changes as you change the number of cores. So I can show you here what happens when you turn the cores down. You can see the frame rate dropping. It's still respectable at 15 frames per second. This is the advantage of having a high performance quad core processor is that you're able to now get that class of realistic uh, console class gaming uh, on actually a, a tablet and a smartphone. There's another, uh, another uh, uh, really uh, cool piece of technology here. If you look at the lights, there's something, there's a concept called the uh, God rays, which is, uh, you know, the light, the realistic way of rendering light rays. And I'll turn it on here for you to see what that would look like. Uh, now when you actually move this around, uh, you can see how the light actually curves around the objects and almost bends around the scene and comes at you. Those are the kind of things that make console class games, you know, what they are when you play on an Xbox or when you play on a PS3. And uh, what we're able to show here is that uh, this is the kind of technology that now we're able to, you know, optimally run in a very power efficient manner on a quad core Snapdragon processor. And now what we are going to do is uh, we're going to launch this out. This is the first time you're seeing it. And all the, uh, um, the graphics effects and the shader models and all the techniques that come with it will make it available to all the development community. So all the gamers out there that want to develop this class of games will have access to this whole stuff. And it will be on uh, QDev not, uh, you know, QDevNet or Qualcomm, and uh, you'll get uh, access to that. That's what I want to show for.